I'm literally already sweating. Okay. Hi guys, it's Callie Kelly Marie, and today I thought since I mentioned this in a lot of my videos, I switched dance studios from a competition studio to like a ballet kind of school studio thingy. Um, but anyways, I just thought since I guess I've been in both kind of worlds, I was like, let's like tell you guys about the differences because if you know, you know. <laughs> but like ballet, like the ballet community and like competition is very, very different. I like they value different things. It's just, it's a different world. It's a different kind of, I don't wanna say mindset, but like you want different things depending on where you are. And honestly, that's kind of why I switched because I wanted ballet. I wanted when I like list off these things that are like on the ballet, I'm like, that's what I want. Like, I want to do that. So basically, yeah, that's why I switched. Also really, really quick, um, I am outside again because I don't know, I just like filming outside. I guess it's kind of, it is brighter. It's really hot out here, um, which is why I'm like, and also I'm squinting because the sun's that way and it's kind of bright, but um, yeah. Also ignore that, I haven't talked about that, I just stayed Anyways, I'm rambling. Right. Let's get started. <laughs> So I have a little list here because um, I would never remember all of these because it took me a while to like just like come up with these. I also have a lot more differences. So like if you do enjoy this, let me know because I could do another one. So yeah, oh, number one. Uh, the first one is that obviously the style differences. So if you're at a ballet school, they obviously ballet is like their main focus, ballet point, that sort of thing. They also have a focus on modern, which modern in a ballet community, ballet world, is so different than a modern or like lyrical or contemporary in the competition. Competition is very commercialized, it's very tricky, and ballet is in the ballet like kind of community placey thing. It's very kind of you're focused on the movement, you're focused internally, and you're also focused on like how you're moving in relation to everything around you. Like because we were focusing on sound, like what do you hear while you're moving? What do you see while you're moving? What do you what is your body doing? How do your ribs like how do your ribs move when you do this? Like you're very focused. Whereas in the competition it's like, wow, what can I do? Like how many turns can I do? Blah blah blah. You know what I mean? It's just very different in that kind of sense. Anyways. And also styles. <laughs> um now back to my styles. Uh the ballet obviously they offer modern and at my like school, they also offer, offer tap and jazz. And I think they did have a hip hop class there for a while, but uh, it was not like very prominent, I guess, obviously. And um, they also have a, offer character class, which a few people took that. I don't know, there wasn't many. So, and then obviously at a competition studio, they have all of those classes plus more. They some I know some have clogging, some have they have lots of hip hop, lots of tap, lots of those things. So it's just kind of different, and like they have more focus on other styles besides just ballet, obviously. Now, number two. Now this one is kind of specific for my ballet kind of company that I'm with. So for our productions, especially Nutcracker, and I don't know, we did a Swan Lake one. Um, but they have uh, provided costumes. So, why are the birds being so loud? Oh my goodness, be quiet, please. Thank you. Why well, that worked? <laughs> um, but they have provided costumes. So they will go fit you in a costume. They can. They have volunteers that help sew and that sort of thing. So you don't have to pay for the costumes because it's all nonprofit, and they have a bunch of volunteers for our company. However. Now, with the school, I don't know. We never really had our school performance because of like everything going on. So I don't know. I don't really know about that, but yeah. Anyways, so for the competition, obviously you pay for all of your costumes, recital, competition, whatever it is. You have to rhinestone your own costumes, which that's happened multiple times. Um, and you wear them like, I don't know, once, maybe a few couple times if you wear them for competition because you have a couple co competitions. But yeah, that's the whole thing. It's not very, yeah. For the ballet, like I said. I literally, I was scrolling back on like dancers that danced with um, where I danced a long time ago and I was like, oh my gosh, we still have the costume. It was the Petite Mars pant costume and I was like, we still wear that. <laughs> and that was like, I don't know, 70 years ago. So this was just my experience. I honestly, this is just a kind of personal thing. But honestly, when I went to the ballet school, their people were so supportive like you think they'd be more like i guess meaner i don't know with like a ballet kind of stricter community but oh my goodness these were some of the nicest people i've ever met like in my life 
and where's competition don't get me wrong the people that i did competition with i loved them so much like every single one of them like honestly they were my literal family but there is a com like a competitive aspect in it because you do eventually compete against your own team if you're solos and that sort of thing um and there is a competition kind of in the studio. Now, don't get me wrong, ballet does have some sort of competition, especially for roles, like what roles you're gonna get for Nutcracker, what roles you're getting for like the spring performance. So there is that sort of competition, but then at the end of the day, we're all happy for each other because we're all working towards the same performance and like the same goal and we're not being judged on it or anything. You know what I mean? So like, we're all kind of supportive. Yeah. The next one that I have is um, the class is so strict because in the fact that you have to wear the exact like the um you have to wear the class leotard for our company we have to wear a certain leotard um pink tights we have to have the seam in our tights um leather ballet shoes with the ribbons um it's just a lot stricter and whereas for it's a competition at least in my experience our competition like studio didn't require us to wear like we had to wear as I got older, we'd have to wear um, a certain color for our level that we were in. So like we did, but then again, we also could wear like t-shirts and shorts over our leotards. And our teacher would sometimes make us take it off, but not always. So like, I don't know. And oh my gosh, guys. I was the only one. Okay, so at my competition studio, I was literally like transitioning towards trying to transition like in the ballet world still at a competition studio which is not good because i was like obsessed with pointes i was oh my gosh toe tape oh my gosh i literally had trash pants only one in the whole studio had trash pants and everyone was looking at me like i was crazy and i went to ballet school everyone had trash pants i was like i found my place <laughs> uh, but anyways okay so that's just a that's a different thing right. this is kind of tied in with the ballet company but at my ballet company they expect professionalism it is very structured after a regular like ballet professional company so like we have our junior company and our senior company and they also have like a junior company apprentice junior com or senior company apprentice so that sort of thing they expect professionalism they expect you to show up they expect you to have your hair done they expect you not to have holes in your tights they expect you to look good you s they expect you to be ready and they also s expect a certain focus especially to performances if you're not focused and if you're not ready to perform I feel like I just skipped over it but ballet world obviously the point shoes you go through point shoes like that. You're doing point literally every single day for like over an hour, like every day. Whereas competition, if you even did take point, you took it for like 45 minutes to an hour once a week. <laughs> so I could get a sh pair of shoes to last like a literal year. Like it was, mm, and they weren't even dead. <laughs> they just like didn't fit anymore. Um, but no, I just went through like, there's literally pairs of shoes that I'll go through in like a month. So, yeah, that's a, that's a different thing. Obviously, in the ballet world, you have ballet competitions, like international competitions, like uh, YAGP, um, Pretty Lazon, how do you say that? I honestly don't know, that's really bad. Um, so like that, but you also have smaller ones. But most, I know some companies do that, but ours does not. Like we don't really do that many competitions. Ballet doesn't really have that many competitions. Whereas obviously for competition competition, you have many competitions. There's so many to choose from, so many different styles. Um, there's like really, really big ones like Showstoppers. I'm trying to think of the, the Dance Awards, um, that sort of thing. I don't know, I can't really think of any. I haven't gone to a competition in I don't know how long. Um, and then there's also like smaller ones like ultimate stars we got star talent um world class world class talent um so yeah it's just it's just different for competition most people are there to have fun um most people i know most people that i danced with at when they went to a competition studio either there was two types of people there was people that are doing it for fun knew they did not want to pursue dance as a career but then there's also those that want to pursue dance in the commercial aspect so they want to go and like be on commercials they want to go be like kind of um, broadway that sort of thing now then i understand that because the competition will get you there but most people aside from those few that wanted to like pursue like commercial dance they didn't really want to go professional now most people that do ballet they either want to continue dance some sort of way in their life or they want to be professional like i know oh my gosh. 
one of our goals just got accepted in like a studio company at Oklahoma City. I'm so excited. I'm like so proud of her. I'm, like yes, she's literally gorgeous and like she deserves it. So yeah. And then another one of our um, like previous dancers did. Um, she was in National Ballet of Chile. Is that what it's called? Something like that. But she did go and do that. So I was like, yes, do that. Yes. <laughs> the last kind of thing that I have for you guys is that competition is very expensive. Especially like classes, choreography, like all that stuff, it adds up and it's so expensive. At least that's where I was. <laughs> but, and I mean, don't get me wrong, um, going to a ballet school is not the cheapest thing either, but like it's a lot. It was cheaper than um, competition. So, yeah. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am literally sweating, like it is, it's really hot out here. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. Um, comment down below if you want a, like a part two, like if this does really well, I'll probably do a part two. Um, Cause I have a bunch of more that I could think of and come up with. Um, comment down below, comments, questions, or concerns. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me. Click on the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. I post videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.